video on the fundamental approach towards building a wardrobe, how to go about it, basically identifying based on your lifestyle, of course, and assembling the right components that uh, constitute uh, a suitable and appropriate wardrobe for you. You know. So to that end, if you remember, we went through some of these fabrics, we went through a bunch of these swatches. The idea, if you recall, was to essentially to, based on your lifestyle, come up with a composite wardrobe. Nothing fancy, just sort of a core, hard, true, honest to God, fundamental wardrobe. Let us start. We're going to start with a spreadsheet. So if we look here, what we have here is a spreadsheet. And what I've done is basically, I always have a long running spreadsheet, uh, if you want to call it a wish list. And what I've done is here, if you look at the items, I've broken them into different elements. For instance, here, I have summer suits, I have summer casual suits, I have three season business suits, winter business suits, sport jackets, winter jacketing, top coat, trousering, and so on and so forth. Here you go through sort of number of yards you need for each uh, fabric, you know, you look at the model uh, that you want. So everything is on this spreadsheet, the modeling, uh, the pricing, what have you. And based on that, uh, we come up with the quantities that we require uh, to complete uh, or to start commence this exercise. We're gonna start with, these are trouser rings. And then next year, we have the summer jacketings. And for the summer jacketings, I have a linen in tobacco by WBL. This is um, a gun club, lesser. This is Calo Barbera for each lesser. This is a brown hop sack, nice weave summer jacket. Again, Calo Barbera for lesser. Uh, we have blazers. So this is sort of, a, this is a three season blazer. It's a 13 ounce. 13 ounce, uh, I believe this is Smith's Botany. It's a hop sack. Very, very uh, traditional fabric. This is a uh, this is a, a tan tropical wool again by H Lesser. Eight nine ounces. It's a nice business summer suit for the days where you can wear tan wool. This is a blue gray sort of a blue gray fenmarisco. Uh, it's a fresco by Smith. That's it for the summer suits. So we have five summer suits here. Now let's go to the three season suits. These are the three season suits, or should I say year round in some cases? Well, I'd say more like three season. Um, these are from Lesser. This is a herringbone. These are three season core business suits, workhorse business suits, which serve you as three season suits in very, very standard colors. Uh, Hop sack by Lesser, 13 ounces as well. Even though we don't have much of a winter here, we have a very short winter here, but I figure you need a couple of tweed jackets. So what I've done is that uh, these are WBL Donegals. They're just beautiful. They're about 14 ounces, 14, 15 ounces, and they make up a beautiful winter jacket. If you're gonna get one top coat, at least in my book, uh, I don't, because of my climate again, I don't really need a top coat, but uh, you know, never know when you might be traveling uh, to the to other climbs or to cooler climbs and you need us a top coat. So if I were to recommend one top coat, I would recommend a gray herringbone. A gray herringbone is probably as versatile as you're gonna get when it comes to top coat. So let's have a look at it, just keep it. So it's a beautiful gray herringbone. That's it for our plot selection. Uh, I'm gonna have to go through all of this and basically design every one of these garments, come up with a design for each garment and pin them to the cloth and then they're going to go in one of those boxes and ship off to, uh, to Naples. Thank you for watching and uh, we're going to go and uh, work on this and then it's going to take us uh, quite a bit of time, probably a couple months you know, to come up with the final product and then uh, we'll have a look. Thanks for watching and uh, have a fantastic day.